開閉鎖したこれより最低の心にどうぞ。With a history of more than 4 billion years, various phenomena have occurred in the deep sea, and many mysteries remain unclarified to this day. We send crude submersible research vessels to the bottom of the ocean to study our unknown planet and life in an attempt to understand the magnificent and sometimes threatening mechanisms of nature. Why do we research the deep sea? How do we go to the deep sea and how do we survey it? We did a close coverage of the deep sea survey. Under the bright sun, we see a large vessel advancing to the research point. The name of the vessel is the support vessel Yokosuka. This vessel is equipped with the crude submersible research vehicle Shinkai 6500, a hangar for unmanned underwater vehicles and a general control room to control drones to support the research. Moreover, it is a vessel that can carry out comprehensive surveys and research at sea, with a laboratory for surveying the seabed topography and examining collected samples. Engineers on board Yokosuka are conducting a final inspection for Shinkai for deep sea research. The Shinkai is a crude submersible research vehicle that can carry people and dive to a depth of 6,500 meters. We contribute to the development of marine science and technology by researching the sites of massive earthquakes that threaten us and the key places to solve the mystery of the evolution of life. Meanwhile, pilots who are going to dive into the deep sea are in their final meeting. This mission is to investigate a hydrothermal vent area in the deep sea. In the deep sea hydrothermal vent area, hot water that sometimes exceeds 400 degrees Celsius blows out from a spout hole called a chimney and is inhabited by various organisms that adapted to such an extreme environment. By investigating this ecosystem, we may discover the secret of the evolution of living things and the origin of life. A total of three passengers, including the researchers and pilot, are on board the Shinkai for research. Once the hatch is closed, the water pressure does not affect those on board, even at the bottom of the sea. Now it's time to navigate into the deep sea. What is the structure of this small cockpit where three people carry out their activities? Since there is high water pressure in the deep sea, the cockpit of Shinkai has a round spherical structure and is protected by a thick titanium alloy. Due to its completely enclosed space, an oxygen tank supplies oxygen and absorbent material absorbs carbon dioxide. The water temperature in the deep sea is extremely cold, with an average temperature of 2 to 4 degrees Celsius. So even in midsummer, the cockpit being cold is one of its characteristics. 
見えてきましたね。海底が見えました。降り立ちます。We've now arrived in the deep sea. Can you see something resembling white snow? It is a serene place where dead plankton fall and pile up, called marine snow. 横須賀市海着底した伊豆の市、高さ七百九十二。From here, the Shinkai will move to search for the hydrothermal vent area, which is our target spot this time. After about one hour into the research, the most active chimney in this area was found. The full-scale investigation begins here. We now collect the chimney discovered earlier. Asuroi. A manipulator attached to the shinkai will be used for collection, and then we will proceed to the investigation of the seabed using two arms with seven joints. As organisms that adapted to the extreme environment in the deep sea exist, there is the prospect of finding useful functions and genes. By studying the deep sea, we may be able to elucidate the mechanism of the earth and the essence of life. Mud and sand in the deep sea can also be valuable samples. A sample is like a time capsule engraving the Earth's historical events, such as climate changes and the traces of massive earthquakes that caused tsunamis. There are still so many mysteries and possibilities in the deep sea. We will continue to explore the deep sea to help develop the future. <laughs>